Hi, Domenica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to the features that you might find on a mechanical sewing machine. And this video is part of the Learn to Sew series. Okay, so chances are your machine probably won't be exactly the same as this, but hopefully it will help you to become a bit more familiar with the features that you might find on your new machine. Okay, so just starting on the side here, you have a spot for your um, plugs for your foot pedal and your power plug. Sometimes they're two separate plugs. On this one, it's uh, one plug. Okay, and you've got your foot pedal here, which you've put on the floor and this will enable you to operate your machine. You have your on off switch here. And up the top here, you have a hand wheel. So your hand wheel lets you manually make your needle go up and down. And there'll also be another feature on some machines where you either pull out your hand wheel or on this machine there's a dial that you turn. And that disengages the machine. So when you go to um, put thread onto your bobbin, it uh, stops the needle from going up and down. Okay, and you just need to remember to put your hand wheel back in place when you're done with that. Okay, I might take you a little bit closer now to have a look at some of the features that you might find on the top and the front of your sewing machine. Okay, so just starting at the top of the machine here, you'll have your spool pin or spool pins like this machine. And yours might be vertical or they might be horizontal. And you put your thread on these and on the horizontal ones, you might have a um, cap or disc of some sort to hold your thread on. Over to the side here, at the top you have a thread guide of some sort that your thread will need to go behind. And you'll bring your thread down through your tension discs which are inside the machine there. And you've got your tension dial. So I recommend just making sure it's on a neutral or a central position, just for starters while you're learning how to sew. Bring your thread down. There should be a thread guide here that you need to thread um, your thread under. And you'd bring it back up to the take-up lever. And you'll see the take-up lever has a hole at the front there. So it's really important that your thread goes through the take-up lever and is sitting in the hole there properly. Coming back down, coming down to the needle bar here and the presser foot, you should have another hook or thread guide of some sort for your thread to go behind. So this one's got the hook here. On my machine there's two thread guides, so you might just need to check your manual to see what you have on your machine. We have um, the needle bar here, so we've got the screw on the needle bar that um, you can loosen so you can change your needles over. Have the presser foot, so you won't be able to see it, but on the back there's a lever and that just enables you to put your presser foot down and then bring it back up again. You've got your sewing foot here. So this is interchangeable depending on what type of sewing project you're doing. Down here you've got your feed dogs. So these will move along as you're sewing and that will help pull your fabric through the sewing machine. Now this machine is a front loading bobbin machine. So I've got the bobbin case in there. And I'll be showing you in a later video how to load a front loading bobbin sewing machine. Coming back up to the top, there's another thread guide here. So this one's for if you're uh, putting thread onto a bobbin. You'd bring your thread around your thread guide or in this particular machine, it says to put the thread around the thread guide clockwise. So you might just need to check your manual, manual to see how yours needs to be done and have the bobbin spindle here. So put your bobbin on and to activate the spindle, usually push it over to the right. Now, like I mentioned before, you might need to pull your hand wheel out or you might have a dial that you need to turn to disengage the machine when you're threading a bobbin. Okay. Um, on the front of this machine here is a stitch guide. You might just have a dial of some sort that lets you um, change your stitch selection. So at the moment this um, 
machine is set to a straight or it can be changed to a zigzag stitch and to change it, it's got a lever here that you push to the side and you can push up and down. Okay, so that's your stitch guide. Now taking you to the front of the machine here, you'll have some dials, a couple of the important dials. You might have a dial that enables you to change the width of your zigzag stitch. So you'll see this little symbol somewhere if you have that. At the moment it's on a zero, so that would be um, just for a straight stitch and then to change it to zigzag you just turn your dial like that. So coming down here you might have another feature um, or dial of some sort that lets you change the length of your stitch. Okay so you should see this symbol somewhere. So on this machine you just turn the dial and oops that makes your stitch um, longer or turn it back to a shorter. Another important feature that you'll have is your reverse stitch. So you'll see this symbol somewhere and maybe a lever of some sort on this machine. And this dial here is also a lever for the reverse or back stitch. So you'd pull it up to do your back stitch and then release it again. Okay, so they're the main features of a mechanical sewing machine. I hope you found this video useful and don't forget to check out the other videos in the Learn to Sew series and hopefully these videos will help you to become a more confident and successful sewer. Thanks for watching.